Hi, I'm Annabelle Langbein. I'm really proud to be here and I'm so excited to be a recipient of this year's World Class New Zealander Award under the Creative Category with Kia New Zealand. They're a great organisation. Today's theme was all about going from surviving to thriving. And so I started by t showing people um, a little bit of um, the clip from my TV series which goes to 84 countries around the world and then telling people how I got to that point, how I went on that journey, how I protected my IP, how I built my brand and how important New Zealand is to me as part of that brand. Well basically this idea of um, uh, disobedient thinking, naughty thinking, where you challenge an idea, where you say, instead of when somebody says to you, jump how high, you know, you go, why? Why am I jumping? Wouldn't it be better instead of jumping if we did this or that? So you're constantly challenging thinking, you're always looking outside the box, you're trying to think laterally about how you might approach a problem, but you always have to invest your very best work, your that extra step, that bit of energy that means that you are being the best you can be if you're going to compete on a world stage. Um, well I have always firmly believed that New Zealand is the premier food basket of the world and one of my kind of roles is as an ambassador, this is a personal role and a philosophical role is to to show that off and to share it. So um, because I work in food I'm always working with really fresh produce, I'm really you know working with the best wines and different food products I can but I'm showing people it's not about it being expensive, it's not about it costing lots of money or taking lots of time, it's about having relevance in the marketplace. Okay, so in terms of innovation and technology in my career, I think I've always been a really early adopter. I was probably the first person as a publisher to, to put um, YouTube clips up interactively with a cookbook. So I'm always looking, and I think I was the first person to use CTP printing, computer to plate printing. So I'm by nature an early adopter, and we have spent the last year really focusing on our website and on our social media strategy and on building a, a global community around what we do and helping people that, to feel that they can belong to the values and the idea that we're putting out there. I think that's a really, really good question because until about five years ago, I was pretty much a one-man, one-person band. You know, I did everything. I wrote the book, I oversaw the design, I went up and proof-pressed the printing in China, I sold the book, I organised the distribution. I did every single bit of the supply chain, which was good in a way that it helped me to understand my business, but it meant that I could never really grow to the vision and potential that I saw for it. So I have, in the last five years, learnt the absolute value of building a really good team around you, having incredibly good governance, so that the decisions you make, um, you can see there's a great big pothole before you get there, which you might not have otherwise thought about. Because I think the thing about people who are creative and entrepreneurial, I don't know if I really like that word, but, but people who have ideas that they want to see realised is, you don't know what you don't know. And it's that not knowing what you don't know that actually puts you at the biggest risk. Because it's not the things that you can see coming, it's something from way left or right field that's going to trip you up. Um, I have two well, not quite teenage children, one's 19 and one's 21, so a teenager and a slightly post-teenager. And um, Geraldine's comment about your kids going to bed with their devices, you know, they, they're plugged into them, it's almost part of their DNA and their anatomy. So if ideas are going to have relevance today, then they have to be in those formats, they have to be. You know, people, especially young people today, whether you want to call them millennials or whatever you want to call them, you know, they are getting what they want, they're creating their own worlds, they want things that are kind of, they feel they own rather than being dictated to. So then if you are going to be successful, then you A, have to be on every possible platform that they might be so that they can find you, and B, rather than dictating to them, you need to be actually um, getting back from them what they need so you start a conversation and then, then they feel they can belong somewhere.